Josh from Jersey, <coughs> welcome to the program. You're welcome to join us every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. for live questions. Josh wants to know, somebody once told me that Yom Kippur was once a day for men to look for a wife. Is that true? And if so, why and when did it change? I think this is a appropriate question to be asking. We have Rabbi Beda, who's the director of Ura's Shabkin Matchmaking um, Division, here in the room with us. Oh, Rabbi Beda. Maybe he should answer that question. <laughs> well, I think that was the topic of discussion maybe the first year in the JCC that I discussed that question. It's very strange. Uh, rabbis tell us there's the two most happy days of the year. One of them is Yom Kippur because of the atonement God forgives our sins. And the second luchas were given, but the second tablets were given in Yom Kippur, by the way. The first ones were broken on on, uh, on, on 40 days after 40, 40 days after Shavuos where the, the first tablets were broken and then there were 80 days after that Moses went up to, to, Shema, to heaven after Shavuos for 40 days and 40 nights he came down after 40 nights and found the golden calf he broke the luchas he went back for another 40 days and 40 nights to pray to God to forgive the Jewish people came down again and God said, now come a third 40 days and bring up you through the stone tablets. I'm not going to give you the stone. You have to bring it up. And after the, the third 40 days, when we came, ended in Yom Kippur, he came down with the second luchas that God gave him. So therefore, it's a very happy day that they were replaced with other luchas. And then it says that in this day, the uh, girls used to go out and uh, dancing, and the boys would come and choose a wife for themselves. So it seems so inappropriate for Yom Kippur of all days in Yom Kippur to do that. So at that time, just to give it a very short idea, because this was very significant, very significant, because that was a sign of God coming together with the Jewish people. It's like when the Jewish people made the golden calf, it's like God divorced the Jewish people. He gave them a get. He broke the luchas, he was very angry at them. And finally, Yom Kippur, he forgave them totally, and they came back together again. It's like a man and a wife being divorced and coming back together again after a while. So that, to show this, the significance, to show the, the love of God to the Jewish people after they sinned, still they became partners again, man and wife again, loving each other again. That's the significance of choosing a wife on Yom Kippur to show this type of idea that uh, just like a man and wife have this connection of, uh, of uh, love and connection to one another, that's how we, look at, we have to look at God's connection to, connection to Jewish people. It's like a man and wife would have a very happy uh, connection with one another. That's why in Yom Kippur that we have that type of thing happening. Today we don't do it because we are not in that level of greatness. At that time, they did it with a whole different idea of spirituality. Today, we're not in that type of uh, uh, level of greatness to go and look for a wife and keep our thoughts pure with, with uh, thinking of God and Jewish people and all that I'm saying now. That, that takes greatness to do that. So we don't do it today because we're not in that high level of spirituality to have the right thoughts at the time of, of, uh, of doing such a thing.